What you'll be going through. <laughs> Good morning to everyone. Thank you uh, so much for coming out today and helping us celebrate our 50th anniversary as, as a city. I appreciate you taking time to do that. Before I get into the program, I'd certainly like to recognize uh, our elected officials that are here. Uh, our president of our city council, Jim Smith, Jim. Uh, president Pro Tem, John Green. Uh, Councilman John Lida. Dr. Casey Middlebrooks, I believe I saw him over to the right. Councilman Derek Murphy, Kirk Posey, and Councilman Mike Shaw. Thank you, gentlemen, for coming. And uh, we also have former Councilman Jack Wright here. Jack, where's, where's Jack? Thank you for always uh, being a part of our uh, history and our celebrations, Jack. I appreciate that. And former Representative Paul DeMarco is here as well. Thank you for coming. We appreciate that. And, we have uh, some really special folks here as well today. Uh, uh, Tom Hoover. Tom is the son of our founder, Mr. William Hoover. Thank you so much for being here today. And uh, uh, we miss Helen and Jane and, uh, and, and his brother Bill as well. So uh, we certainly miss, miss them. And uh, thank you for what your family means to our city, no doubt. And then we have uh, some daughters of former mayors here. We have Mimi Smith, Mimi, uh, Mayor John Hodnett's daughter. And then we have Amy Braddock. Amy, where are you? Mayor O.D. Braddock. Very, uh, very special to see y'all today as well. And. Uh, of course, our Hoover Historical Society is here. If y'all raise your hand, thank you. They've done just a great deal of work preparing this for us today, and we thank you for all that you've done, just coordinating those activities. And uh, I can't go any further without recognizing uh, the two ladies that put this together, and that's Karen Cobol and Brittany, too. Where are y'all? Yeah, I want you to really wait so everybody knows exactly who did it. Thank y'all. Uh, we really do appreciate what you've done, and. They will continue to put other programs together for us to celebrate our 50th anniversary as well. So we look forward to uh, things to come. And, uh, and also I'd like to uh, introduce our city administrator, Alan Rice. Step out, Alan, so everybody that doesn't know you will know. One of our oldest churches in uh, Hoover is Green Valley Baptist Church. And it's uh, going to have Reverend. Jeff James come up to say our invitation for us. Let's pray together. Father, your word tells us in the book of Ezekiel that you are the God who's always there. You are in our past, in our present, in our future. And we acknowledge that today as individuals, but we also acknowledge that as uh, citizens of the city. And we are grateful for the way you've blessed us individually and as a city. And Father, I pray that. Uh, as your word tells us, to make the most of every opportunity and to, to live as wise and not unwise. And so, Father, we even look into the future. And I pray for our city officials. I pray for wisdom. Uh, we pray that the next 50 years, uh, if you allow us to have those, would be as blessed as the past 50. We are thankful for all those who have had uh, a hand in creating such a wonderful community for us to live in. We are blessed by it, and we recognize that it is a gift from you. We pray these things in your name. Amen. Thank you. Well, as part of our anniversary, we wanted to do something special. We wanted to vary a, a time capsule. And so obviously we chose this day because it's the actual date of incorporation, May 18, 1967. We'll talk about a lot of different facts today. and um, We'll have some handouts that will tell you all about the different articles. But just to kind of go over where we came from and how we got here. I, of course, the, the vision of Mr. Hoover was uh, phenomenal. He, early in the 50, 1950s, he began purchasing land along Highway 31. He always wanted to start a city, he had vision. There were 
widening Highway 31 up through Vestavia. And uh, he felt that one day people would move south. And so he started buying up that land. And it's interesting to note that the Parade of Homes was held here in uh, 1959. And to encourage people to come out to the Parade of Homes way out here to Green Valley, Hoover area, they, had, they were going to raffle a house off for one dollar. And that house uh, absolutely it was raffled off, and that was 1851 Val Green Lane. So that was kind of the start of it uh, back in 1959. Certainly, we began to grow, and there were a number of businesses uh, established along Highway 31. Some of us here today, Green Valley Drugs, South Haven Nursing Home, and then the Village Inn uh, Barbershop, which I, I use today. And, I get a discount now from <laughs> back in the old days because I used to have a little more for me to cut. But uh, that's why I get the discount, not, not any other reason. <laughs> uh, so, but I can't, uh, I can't help but when I talk about the start of our city to, uh, to really think about how it started. And of course, employers insurance sat there right as the kind of the focal point of, of Hoover in the uh, early 60s, late 59, late 50s and early 60s. And a series of brush fires uh, broke out around the, the, uh, the area. And so the men from employers insurance would go and uh, would respond uh, any time these brush fires would break out. And so, you know, there's no fire protection out this way. And they got their protection from Vestavia Fire Department, uh, which was a, you know, a paid department uh, just north of us, the Rocky Ridge Fire Department. But, you know, there were men here that, uh, and women that wanted things better, and they wanted, to, wanted something to develop out of this area. And, and one of the things that they did is they started the Hoover Volunteer Fire Department. It was kind of interesting. It started five years before the city did, in 1962. And I was, I was able to find the original incorporation papers and to me, this is the birth of the city, but this is how, just a few lines of what it said, how it described this. The Hoover volunteer, this was our area. They couldn't, they couldn't put a name on it, so they called it this. The Hoover Volunteer Fire Department, Hoover Community on Highway US 31, south of Vestavia Hills out there. So that was our name. That's how, that's essentially how we started it. So in 62, Five years before the, the, the uh, start of our city, uh, they named the fire chief Ralph Shepard. And so uh, Chief Shepard was really the first official, when you really get down to it, for this area. And uh, certainly we owe a lot to his family. We recognized them uh, this week as well at another event that we had. And of course, uh, uh, John Hodnett was a member of that department as well and later became uh, one of the mayors as well as uh, Mayor Braddock, Mr. Braddock, uh, was a member of the Hoover Volunteer Fire Department. And really about six mayors have been a part of Hoover Fire Department. So uh, there's always been uh, a real connection between how our city started and the leaders there and, and the actual operations of the city. We, employees Insurance uh, continued to uh, donate to our city and, and uh, just to the area. And in 65, they were at uh, the department was able to build a, uh, a volunteer fire station. Previous to that, it was just a lean-to up against employer's insurance. So in 65, they were able to build, uh, build this uh, fire station for $5,500. We've come a long way. I think our last station cost $2 million. So it's a little bit of a change in that 50 years. But you know that little fire station, we operate out of it right now and it became uh, the city hall when the city was formed. Uh, and uh, they used it, uh, Ms. Steiner was there as the city clerk. Uh, they arrest folks every once in a while and actually lock them in the bathroom of the little fire station. <laughs> so that was, you know, it was just kind of, that's who we were. But, you know, the city continued to grow and uh, people did want to move out here. They liked what they saw. And this group, this, this community group that started the fire department, wanted this city to grow and do a great job. 
they had vision as well. And so they started looking south. And the, I guess really the thing that made Peru really explode was uh, the annexation of River Chase. And then that brought in the River Chase Galleria that made us uh, you know, really one of the most powerful economic engines here in the state of Alabama. And we moved, uh, moved up to Bluff Park and then out on South Shades Crest Road. And now we stretch out and moved out along Highway 280, the Inverness and Greystone. And when we started out, I saw somewhere we were around 1,900 feet long. That's how big the city was. And now we're about 50 square miles. And so uh, we've grown into an incredible uh, city. And today we are the fifth largest, sixth largest city in the state uh, with nearly 90,000 people and uh, just have so much to be thankful for. We, in 1987, the leaders of this city recognized the need for a school system and the school system was formed. We had 5,200 5, students in the school system and now today it's around 14,000 students. And we were able to go to each school. It was a great time uh, the last uh, few months. Just going to each school, and we were able to visit with the principals and the teachers and the children and the students there. And they would give us some items. And those items, each school has an item here in our time capsule. And it was a, it was a great time to visit. And I just saw the enthusiasm in our school. And I really believe that it's the real cornerstone of what why people continue today to move to our city. And, and it was all built upon uh, public service, our fire protection, our police protection, and then we added our school system and kind of formed us and completed us as a city. So we were so thankful to have uh, strong leaders in our school system. And you know, we, we felt like it was very important today to hear from a couple of our students. So I would like, uh, Anna Claire Johnson, who, who is a Hoover High School student and an ambassador at Hoover High, to come up and just say a few words for us. Good morning. My name is Anna Claire Johnson, and I am a senior at Hoover High School, or at least until my graduation in roughly six days, eight hours, 55 minutes, and 23 seconds. <laughs> As every high school senior knows, the last year of high school, while advertised to be full of bittersweet goodbyes and unforgettable memories, is also full of essay writing. From scholarship committees to college admission boards, everyone wants to know what sets you apart from everyone else in the stack. Twice this year, I was asked to write about my community, about how the place where I grew up affected my identity and what I would change about it if given the chance. Both of those questions are relevant today as we bury this time capsule. When it is open in 50 years, we want the attendees of that ceremony to be able to see how this community affected our daily lives. We also can hope that those attendees will be living in a city even greater than what Hoover is today, a city that has gone through the changes we can identify as what we'd like to see. When asked how my community played a role in shaping who I am, I wrote about the character of the people here. As a Hoover Bell and a Hoover Ambassador, I have been blessed to serve as a hostess of this city, but I have also witnessed how the citizens of Hoover play the roles of hosts and hostesses every day. This is a place where, when I was breaking an event in my bell dress and it started to rain, a lady I had never met came running to me with an umbrella to help me find shelter. This is a place where you are likely to experience a chain of people paying it forward in the drive through lines of Chick-fil-A or Starbucks. This is a place where families and friends who may not have any connection to the high school tend to show up at Friday night football games, waving their shakers and celebrating time spent together as a community. This is a place where people show up en masse to fill the Met Stadium on the 4th of July, to be united as we stare in awe at the fireworks in the sky together. This community has taught me to be kind to those in need, to spread joy where I can, and to value the strength that comes in numbers. And those lessons have been invaluable in making me who I am. While Hoover has been an excellent place to grow up, I hope that it is never just the same as it is today. I hope that Hoover continues to progress every day towards better community, because I want the people who open this time capsule in 50 years to know a better world. 
I would be lying if I didn't say I hope they have jetpacks and self-driving cars and personal space shuttles, but I also hope they have learned more about embracing the differences between each other. I hope they celebrate each other's cultures and appreciate the value of diversity. I hope the trend we have seen of entrepreneurship continues with them and that they know Hoover as the center of innovation. I hope those who open this time capsule have maintained our values for traditions and for history while at the same time learning to think forward. I hope those who open this time capsule understand the importance of healthy lifestyles and extend the work we began with sidewalks and the Mall Stock Preserve into more public opportunities to stay active. I hope those who open this time capsule have learned to be better humans than us, or else the city would not have grown at all. In the end, I hope the people who open this time capsule can remember what we accomplished with pride, but also look out on their world and see strength where we saw struggle. I am so honored that this city cared enough about the visions of young people to allow me to spout these hopes at this ceremony. When this capsule is open, I hope to be here again to celebrate our rich history and an even brighter future. Thank you for having me today, and go Bucks. Thank you, that was great. I hope to be here with you to open up. You know, we have uh, two wonderful high schools here. Hoover High School and Spain Park. So we'd like to ask Paris Ahuja to come up, who is a senior at Spain Park, and share some thoughts with us as well. Hello and good morning to everyone. My name is Paris Ahuja. I'm a senior for Spain Park High School, and I'll be graduating this coming Tuesday. I'm very excited. I would like to start off by saying a quote by APJ Abdul Kalam. Excellence is a continuous process and not an accident. In my opinion, Hoover City has been continuing its grace at great excellence for the past 50 years, and I'm here today to share my honest experiences and good thoughts of the city of Hoover on its 50th anniversary. My experience with the city of Hoover and our school system is a little different than some of my peers and neighbors. Now I know that this is not a time for me to share my life story, and I would definitely not do that. But I will try to tell everyone how fortunate we all are to have such a great community as the city of Hoover from my personal point of view. So I grew up in a place called Rainbow City, Alabama. Rainbow City. I attended school there until the sixth grade, and then my parents decided to move to Hoover, and it will give us more opportunities, a better community to reside in, and encourage healthy competition. My mother sacrificed her job as well as leaving close family that lived in Rainbow City, and my dad compromised by driving back and forth two hours get to and from work. When we finally got here, everything was so different. I asked my parents, are we in New York? <laughs> and they simply shook their heads and laughed at me. It was so big, but I still felt like I was becoming part of a big, happy family. The homes were further away, but I felt as if the neighbors knew each other very well. Barry Middle School began about a week later, and my first day was horrible for me. I knew nothing that the other students did, and my curriculum was like the base of what other students had already gone into detail about. Still, my teachers helped to get me where I needed to be, which accepted me. And my friends made me feel at home, who accepted me where I came from, no matter where I came from. This is what makes me love the city of Hoover and its school system so much. Despite being the sixth largest city in Alabama, and having a population of nearly 90,000 residents, we are still all very close knit. Also, the large number of students does not scare teachers into thinking that any single student's failure is acceptable. Rather, they strive to get everyone on the same page and provide everyone with an equal opportunity to success. Lastly, the city of Hoover is a privilege to be a part of because it gives us more than we could ever imagine. For example, in my life, Hoover City and our school system has allowed me to dream, such as pursuing a career in the medical field at UAB. I am not a perfect student or the best citizen of Hoover, for example, in the seventh grade, I began to stop caring about my schoolwork and focused on trying to be cool just like all the other middle schoolers. But then something hit me that made me feel like I could never achieve anything. My parents got my report card. They told me only one thing. We brought you to the best school system in the best city in the state, and you took it for granted. After that talk, I realized how great this gift of being able to live in the best city in Alabama was. And here I am today about to graduate in a few days very happy with all the things that I've been able to achieve in academics at Spain Park High School and my city. 
Sometimes we take the city and the city of Hoover and the school system for granted, but always remember, this is the best city and school system in the entire state, and in my opinion, the best one in the country. A lot of hard work from our parents, teachers, and city leaders, like our respected mayor, goes into helping students' dreams come true. So never take the city of Hoover and its great people for granted. It is so great to move here in order to, sorry, I'm, it is so great that a proudly Indian family from Rainbow City, Alabama, sacrificed everything to move here in order to find their American dream and perfect community in this beautiful and close-knit family that we call the city of Hoover. In the city of Hoover, we build community together, and that is what makes Hoover the greatest city. Thank you so much to everyone here in attendance today and everyone at Spain Park High School. I'm so proud to have this opportunity to speak about my community and the city that I'm so blessed to be a part of and represent Spain Park High School. I would also like to thank my parents for the reason I'm able to dream and achieve in this beautiful city of Hoover. And go Jags. Thank you. Fantastic. That is wonderful. And Claire, you, are you, I saw you are interested in law, so are you thinking of being a lawyer? Is that? I'm actually looking at healthcare administration. Healthcare, okay, great. And I think you're going to become a physician. Is that what you're looking towards? I just want to let you know that we have plenty of opportunities. So when you finish school, you decide to open up your business, repeat the cycle, and come back to Hoover, Alabama. <laughs> That's what will continue to make the city great. So thank y'all very, very much. I appreciate that. Uh, you know, uh, we just heard from two uh, great young men and women here about our school system, and it's got a lot to do with the leadership that we have there. So uh, I've had the uh, distinct pleasure of working with the superintendent, our current superintendent, and uh, she is uh, quite a wonderful leader. She does a, a great job in running our school system. She's very efficient. She's easy to work with. And uh, we've made it a point to uh, meet at least once a month to talk about issues that we can address together to continue moving our city forward. So uh, I would like for Dr. Kathy Murphy to come up and say a few words about that as well. Good morning. Wow, what terrific representation we have this morning from our students. Uh, outstanding. Thank you so much for representing us so well. You know, Mordecai said to Esther in Esther 4.14, have you considered that you have come this way for such a time as this? That you're in the kingdom for such a time as this? And you know, Mayor, I believe you are here for such a time as this. You are doing a terrific job for us. I am so grateful for the working relationship that we have. And to our city councilmen, you too are here for such a time as this. You know, when we bring it right down to all of us, we have been placed in this kingdom, in this terrific place called Hoover, for such a time as this. And I would encourage us not to miss a single opportunity to make this an even more terrific city than it already is. I believe that God placed me in Hoover City Schools for such a time as this. And I do not want to disappoint him, and I do not want to disappoint you. So thank you for allowing me the opportunity to be a leader in this terrific city by leading this terrific school district. And students, you make us so terrifically proud. Thank you again. We have uh, a wonderful city, and I, I think everyone would agree with that. And it's made up of citizens, people that care about our city. And I always like to talk about our volunteers, the people that serve on our various boards that work tirelessly every day to make this a wonderful city. And we appreciate all that they do. And just the support from the citizens as well as each day uh, they work and 
do everything they can to make sure we have a great city. Uh, you know, I had the honor of working here for 42 years, and we have the most outstanding employees in the world, and they will do anything in the world for you. Uh, I doubt that if you were to call any department in this city and ask them to do something, you will never get the answer, no. They'll try to figure out how to do it for you. And that's kind of been our philosophy for all of those years. And uh, I just appreciate that, and I'd love to just give each of them a round of applause right now. Well. We had a special event this week honoring our fire department. Uh, fire departments are graded by the insurance service organization. There's a 1 to 10 rating, 1 being the best, 10 being the worst. And, uh, you know, for the history of the 55 years that the Hoover Fire Department's been in, in existence, every year they strive to improve that from a 10, knocking it down to a 7, to a 5. And, uh, and it meant, what it meant, it meant better fire protection, better service for our citizens, and it meant better insurance rates for your homeowners and for our business owners. But each chief, the three chiefs that we've had, Chief Shepard, Chief Bradley, and now Chief Wingate, worked very hard to get us as high as we can. Well, this past week, we were able to honor, or we were honored as a fire department in receiving our Class 1 designation. And I think that puts us in a, in a nation of about 40,000 departments. We're in the top 1%, so it's quite a feat that uh, So as we uh, come to a close here, we have a couple of things that we want to do. First, we would love for Chief Wingate to come up. And he has with him our Class 1 emblem. And uh, we're going to ask him to place that in our time. Those firefighters, I wonder what they'll be riding on in 50 years. Huh? They'll be floating on something? I, I don't know. It's going to be interesting. So at the city council meeting Monday night, we uh, read a proclamation quite long that mentioned all of the great things about Hoover, uh, just how we started our growth, identified everything from our wonderful park system to our public safety to churches that were formed here, the people that were part of it. It's just a, something that we thought would be very special to put in our time capsule. So as uh, I would like to, for those of, you, of the council that can, uh, John, we'll help you over here if you have any trouble. I'd love for you to come over and let's place this in our capsule together.
Well, that concludes our ceremony today. Thank you so much. I hope that you will have time to stick around. I think we have some refreshments and who the oh, we got to close. All right. Is there uh, is is there anything else that needs to go in there? Yes, we're going to put that in. Okay. Anything else? One last chance or it's 50 years? <laughs> All right. Would y'all like to come put you?